All right, folks, here we have the new combo cartridge for Commodore 64. It is Pi 1541 hat combined with uh, kernel replacement. So it's a two in one device. If we compare it to Epix fast load combo cartridge, it is about five mils longer in size and the LED activity LED is nearer to middle and if you look at the back the piezo speakers are on the opposite sides it has the these dip switches which allows you to choose one of the eight kernels with the combination of last three and the first one disables the disables and enables the kernel replacement so you can also use the stock kernel on your c64 so you will have uh, nine kernels in total available to you and it has two connectors this the top one is for serial with a DIN plug and the second one is stated on the cartridge it needs a connection to the CPU pin 28 so we'll need to hook up this wire and let's see how that goes Okay, I have an old bread bin with this 6510 processor, which is right here. There are 20 pins on the left, 20 on the right, and the bottom right pin is uh, pin 21. So I need to count from here 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, pin 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is it. All right, look, I need to route the cable and stick out from the cartridge slot. And close it back up. Here the cartridge is already plugged in and set up. I've written the combinations of the kernels on a piece of paper. If I set them as all up, that should be cockroach. Up, up, up and turn it on. Here I have the cockroach turbo on. And let's try exos up, down, down. Up, down, down. Here we have the exhaust. You can also use the dead test as the kernel ROM, which is up, down, up. Here is the dead test running. Okay, I've already done some speed tests. Uh, I used Badlands, which is a quite a large game, 202 blocks. The stock kernel loaded in 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Epix fast load cartridge and the cockroach turbo ROM did in 26 seconds. Now let's try it with Dattel turbo ROM. Yep, also the data algebra room load in 26 seconds. Let's try Exos now. Right, here is the Exos. And Exos in 13 seconds. Okay, let's try Jiffy Dots now.
Right, you've lost one to three seconds. Okay, and the last one is S Gifidos. which is also 23 seconds. Okay, these are the results. I was expecting SGFIDOS to be slightly faster than the stock GFIDOS, but came up the same. So the winner is Exos V3. Okay, I have green barrel here. Let's try loading it with fload command. Uh, this game is from one load sixty four games collection, which the the intro and trainer has been removed, and it's in uh, uncrunched, not compressed uh, size, which is uh, two hundred and fifty six blocks. So the fload command uh, disables the I/O registers of said WIC and via chips, so it can access the whole memory, and should take about thirty-three seconds, yeah, thirty-two, thirty-three seconds to load Greenberg. <laughs> 